it's Monday and I can't say good morning because it's not good morning. It's like 5 p.m. Um, to be honest, I've just had work today. Um, I finished my house day um, this morning and I am having my night at home. I get one night at home um, before I start another. So I am literally just on my way there now. However, I have picked up my camera because I have just found literally like it's it's amazing i'm so happy obviously you all know by now about my blowing le creuset mission um and last week i actually got um two more pieces for my collection and today i was on facebook marketplace and i saw two le creuset saucepans now they are in need of some tlc um they're in quite a bit of tlc they need a bit of bit of a clean um some new handles and a new sort of handle for the top however they were free uh so of course I went to get them I am now the proud owner of two two Le Creuset saucepans one with the lid and one without I'm going to show you they actually look better than I thought they were gonna I'm very excited if you can't tell I'm very excited pot number one as you can see quite dirty got a chip and it has got like a crack in the handle but you can buy replacement handles and i'm thinking that i could probably clean a lot of these marks off but even if i haven't it's just marks on the bottom of a pan um but yeah amazing and then the second one this one has a loose handle so again i'll probably buy another handle for this one but it does have a lid and yeah like i said it's got um got like a you can see it hang on it's got a chip in it however not in the actual lid itself um and it's in volcano orange so i'm very happy because at the end of the day they were free um i cannot complain about free saucepans and free le saucepans. sauce pans so yeah i'm gonna give them some tlc uh, i'm gonna make them look a bit nicer and yeah i've got myself two and they're they're huge look Mahusive! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, there's only really a couple of bits I need and my collection will be perfecto. So yeah, I'm very impressed with myself. I'm very happy. For free! For free! <laughs> Hello! Look what I'm back with! For one night. One night. Well, I say one night. Kind of two. One night here and then one night ish at my house what are you up to <sighs> we just watched the vlog didn't we yeah it won't taste nice yeah banana we've just watched the it vlog taste like bananas. no it doesn't taste like bananas we've just watched the vlog vlog yeah the vlog and vlog. i was telling milton about my want to maybe create some more content i'm going to be a content guinea pig aren't i yes well, you just already suggested a really good, like, suggestion. Something with guinea pigs. What? No. Oh, what? No, the playthrough idea. Of the uh, game. Oh, that one, yeah. yeah. Milton already suggested a really good idea. I think we could do a lot of, like, funny videos like that. So, yeah. You should probably have to explain what that idea is. The idea was that I am basically the biggest and most awfulest wuss when it comes to scary video games. And we have tried previously to play a Resident Evil game together because we both love the Resident Evil movies. I um, watched them first. Yeah, yeah, unironically as well. <laughs> we absolutely love them. Um, I watched them first. They were my favourite films. And then when I met Milton, I was like, oh my God, there's these really cool films you're going to have to watch. We sat down. We own the Blu-ray box set. Um, we are that those kind of fans. We love them. Um, and we wanted to play the games, but I am a big baby, and the games are scary. Just a baby. Just a baby. So when we tried to play it together, I started with the controller in my hands. I finished. He finished with the controller in his hands, and with me sat behind him covering my eyes. So you had the idea that you'd force me to play That's the scary game. <laughs> You will play. You will play the scary game and then you'll be in the background for moral support. So I won't be on my own playing a scary game. But you got a police call on me for forcing you to play a game and you'll be there in tears. <laughs> help me, help me, it's animal abuse. <laughs> call the RSPCA. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
so we already had a good idea. See, this is why, this is why I wanted to include you. But we are about to watch our TV show that we haven't been able to watch because you've not been with me. I'm so excited. Z Nation. Z Nation. Sorry, Z Nation, because we're British. No, it's Z Nation. It's an American show. No, is it Canadian? No. I don't know. It's American or Canadian. I don't know. All I know is it's great and we need to watch it right now. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Hello. Once again, I can't say it's good morning because it's not morning anymore. It is almost four o'clock. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I've just had a day of work and I went food shopping. Um, it's been really, really hot. So there's not really been much to fill you in on, as per usual. Um, but later on, I'm off to the gym and then I'm starting a new house day this evening. I say this evening, I'm starting a new house day and I am actually starting it at 1.30 this morning or tomorrow morning, I suppose. Um, so I'm actually, luckily, it's only like 10 minutes from my mum's house, so I'm going to stay the night, well, some of the night. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to go to sleep yet or not. I can't decide what is the better idea to do but I'm going to do that and then drive on down it's only like 10 minutes away from mum's so it's not too bad but it's a very early start um I don't usually do them this this early but this one was sort of just sort of happened that way um so that will be very interesting but yeah I get to go to the gym and Milton's going to come over and have dinner at my house so I can still see him for another night because again I can't see Milton on his next house day so it's going to be crap <laughs> but yeah I'm just hot and irritated today I'm hot and bothered good morning it's Wednesday it's 1.30 in the morning it's not even 1.30 it's 1.15 I arrived early because you know when you like going to sleep when you know you have to get up. I was awake. I was awake a lot. But yay for early mornings, not. I made it, that's all. I'm happy I woke up when my alarm went off. Oh, good morning. It is now later on Wednesday. It's like nine o'clock-ish. Um, I have had my first, like, I don't know, so it sounds really weird, but whenever I fall over or like I hurt myself normally and like it's bad enough to like draw blood or whatever, I am like, okay, whatever I was going to do before I fell over, like I'm going to stop, I'm, I feel defeated, whatever. And I'm just taking these dogs out for like a run this morning because they like, they like to run. Um, and literally like two seconds out the gate. I tripped over, not even running, I just tripped on the uh, the concrete. There was like a loose block and I, um, I tripped over and I've literally, I'm trying not to be upset about it, but I've like torn a massive hole in my leggings. Hang on. Massive hole in my leggings. I've grazed my foot, I've grazed my knee, I'm bleeding. Um, but I was like, do you know what? I've only just left the bloody house. I'm just gonna keep going. Actually, it's been better when I've been running than it has been if I was walking. When I'm walking now, like, it's stinging and hurting and starting to feel stiff. But when I was running, I couldn't feel it. So, yeah, I feel, like, not proud, but, like, I don't know. Like, normally I would stop and, like, that would be it. Walks over, going back inside and try again later. But I just kind of carried on and it's worked. Hello again. It is later on on Wednesday um you don't actually I haven't told you yet but today is actually mine and Milton's two-year anniversary so we've been together for two years today it's very nice um and obviously I'm working here so what's going to happen is Lucy's going to come over and she's going to stay with the doggies for an hour or two hours um while we go out for dinner so I can actually still see him um but I'm ready-ish I've washed my hair <laughs> I've put on a, like the tiniest bit of makeup but I wanted to show you the damage from earlier on it's it looks a bit gross 
Mm, and the thing is, I've only got shorts, and because to be fair, it's 28 degrees, so um, Milton's just gonna have to do on my scabby knee. Uh, but it's not like it's like a first date or anything. I mean, we've been together two years. If you can't take my scabby knee and me out to dinner, then uh, who knows what we're doing? But yeah. There has been like major accidents as well on all the main roads in Lincoln today, which means when Milton tries to get to me to actually meet for dinner, he's gonna struggle. So we'll see if he actually gets here on time. Um, I will not be surprised if he is delayed, mainly just because of the traffic. But yeah, I've got a bit of stuff done today, a bit of admin. To be honest, I've had a bit of a lazy day because I'm so tired from waking up early this morning. Um, I'm just hoping I can make it through dinner and be awake. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to go out and see him. It's quite nice, really, that we're going to go out for dinner. Um, I'm not really dressed for it, but it is what it is. Um, we're only going to like a tapas place, so we're just going to eat. We're mainly going to eat. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Do I want some of your fruit? Milton's like, I can't eat fruit. We had some food. It was very nice. No sausage rolls. What? There was no sausage rolls. No, it wasn't sausage rolls because we were at a Spanish restaurant. Of course, it wasn't bloody sausage rolls. <laughs> There was basically the equivalent, which is like hash browns with cheese and chorizo, which were I really nice. I went to nice. a fancy restaurant and had basically a hash brown. We basically did, yeah. But Story that's, of me. Would we roll any other way? No. Um, no. Absolutely not. That was lovely. Thanks for a lovely rolling, dinner. Rolling. Right. Love you. Love you. Happy anniversary. Yeah, happy anniversary. Two years of me. Two years of hell. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I do love him really. Two years of your life. Nah, the best. Oh. Hey! Only when he doesn't do things like that. Oh! oh. <laughs> yes. Been dragged. Someone's been murdered. Oh. Morning. It's Thursday. We're starting off with another kind of walk slash jog. Um, it's going to be a hot one today, so I've got them out really early. But something I've discovered is currently... I'm really enjoying, like, running in the morning. Um, I feel like it kind of wakes me up and makes me feel, like, less lethargic. That probably makes sense because lots of people do exercise in the morning. But, yeah, it's really nice. So I'm going to continue and then get on my way. Let's get this bread. I'm here with the best. The best one. Look at this. Look at this. Hello. Hello. Hi, uh, yeah. So, whilst I'm not able to go to my gym when I'm on this house day, um, because I can't leave the doggies for that long, they do have an actual home gym um, themselves. And they have some good equipment. So, they have a barbell. Obviously, this is a guy's barbell. It's 20 kilos. I normally lift a women's, which is 15. However, obviously, when I add weight on and things like that, it tends to get a bit tall like heavier anyway so i'm thinking i can do some back squats with this and then i found some dumbbells these dumbbells are kind of cool basically they have little like sliders on that you can adjust and you can adjust the weight and then they go on this rack where it like picks up the plates that you need to make it the weight to do dumbbells so i'm going to do dumbbells they've also got an eight kilo kettlebell so i'm going to use that and then they have this like machine i've seen them before i think you sort of just do this it's one of these one of these bad boys where you get in it and you pull down i feel like this is a movement i could be wrong i'm gonna ask Mills, but i feel like that is a movement that is kind of like equivalent to a pull-up but not a pull-up so I think that'd be a good one to maybe try slash train because I am trying to work towards doing my pull-ups. Um, but there's a very amount of plates in here, which is good. I've cleaned a little space so I can do my squats and things like that. 
I did try and skip, but I think my skipping rope's gonna get caught on the ceiling. I'm gonna try again in a second and just see how we go. Yeah, I can't skip in here because I hit the ceiling. Um, but I have got quite a lot of stuff that I can do. So there's this song that we use at the gym to go like up and down in a squat for a work warm up. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. I actually hit my head on the barbell. Um, I was crawling around the other side of the barbell and I decided to hit my noggin on the bar. I'm fine. It was more funny than anything else. I think because it's hot, I'm really struggling today. I did three reps of 35. I went to do a rep of 40 and I knew it's not, it's not gonna, uh, it wasn't gonna happen today. Normally I can get sort of, pff, how many reps can I get? Three, four, uh, to be fair, before, I've managed my like one rep max is 50, I think. And um, my like three rep max is 42 and a half, I think, I think. So I'm not too upset with not being able to reach 40. It is really hot. But I might see if I can get the treadmill out and go for a bit more of a run because I like running. <laughs> I feel significantly sweaty and tired, so I feel like I've done enough work at the gym. I'm actually just sat on the bed and I'm editing part of the vlog so far. I was chatting to Lucy this morning and she has, how do I say that? My brain, I would like, I literally had like a, a empty brain. Lucy has been sent her contracts for signing for her house. So it could be in like the next one to two weeks that she moves into her home, which is really nice and really exciting. And I'm really pleased because there was a couple of like, there was a couple of reasons why she needed to get moved in sooner rather than later. Um, one of them was to do like with her mortgage offer um, still being valid. So I am really, really pleased that she's had those come through. Very exciting. And then hopefully we'll be next. Hopefully. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. We're meant to have an email back at the end of the week to give us a bit more of an update about our contracts, but I'm still, I'm crossing my fingers. But yeah, it's good news about Lucy's. Um, She's just messaged the guy today and been like, hi, when you're leaving. Also, I've noticed editing this vlog, I'm doing this all the time. I'm sorry. I'm going to try and stop. Um, I know I'm irritating. <laughs> I just can't do it. It's like a habit. It's like a response. Good morning. It's Friday. Day three of running. I've done another 5k this morning. I wouldn't say I'm one out. I feel it's like a good level. Like I don't feel exhausted for the rest of the day, but like I feel like I've worked up a bit of a sweat and I'm a bit more awake again. Um, it's been quite pleasant. I, I thought I'll do a whole week of like running in the morning to see how I go. I'm on day three and it's all right. Good morning. Yes, again, started the morning with another sort of run, although today it's a little less. Um, it's very hot already. It's like 20 and it's only half eight. So I don't want to overheat the dogs too much. So we did a bit of running, but I'm going to call it call it there and walk the rest of the way now um just because i don't want them to get too hot and we have to get all the way home yet but i would say i've done about two and a half this morning um and i'll end up walking an entire 5k i just maybe won't end up running all of it but i don't feel too bad again like i feel like i could run another 5k this morning um but i am just a bit wary of the temperature and like 
I don't want to flake out either because it's quite hot. Um, I don't think I could run in the heat often. But, yeah, I'm just... It's Saturday. I forgot to even say it was Saturday. And we're just enjoying our early morning walk. So... A week ago, I was telling you all about how my friend Jordan has gone off to the Falklands. Um, he has just sent me through, well, I mean, he sent the group chat through his first ever like broadcast um, on FITV. Um, and he had to do a little piece introducing himself. And I basically just stopped on here to say that like watching it has made me yeah i'm really proud of him like watching it's made me kind of emotional actually because like it's just so nice to see him like achieving his goal um and like the fact that he sent it to us to watch yeah it's really cute so i'm very i'm very pleased for him but i just feel like proud mum moment you know um i always joke and i always call him dad because he's always been like my dad um he's very much sort of like a dad friend but right now i feel like his proud mum so i'm proud of jordan uh, good morning, it's Sunday. It's a bit warmer again today, but I managed to do again like half the run and half the walk. Um, we're on the walking section now. But yeah, it's what, how many days? Do we on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Day, f yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Day five of running, uh, either 5K or less, um, in, in the in the morning in between 2.5 and 5k every day um I, I still feel all right like my legs aren't hurting um which is really nice um i think i'm going to keep it up like every morning i get up and i'm like oh maybe this is the day i stop and then i get out and i'm like nah do you know what i've got it in me i've got it in me um but yeah i am a bit more sleepy this morning i i'm not used to i'm having to get up at like Oh, this sounds awful. I'm having to get up at like half six and, you know, quarter to seven, which I know to some people doesn't sound early. But to me it's early because I normally get up around sort of 7.45, 8. Um, so I'm a little bit more sleepy and I feel like this is a really good way of actually like waking me up. But yeah, I'm tired. I've only got one thing today and then I'm at home with these guys. So I think as long as it doesn't get too hot, I'm going to do some more training. Um, in the gym today. I might have to wait till that later. Hello, so it's still Sunday. Um, I just had to nip out for an hour to go and finish getting the rest of my brother's birthday present as it's his birthday tomorrow. And I went to go and get a few things and I found this in uh, B&M's. So I saw a lady on TikTok do this the other day. But basically, I'm sure like most of you know what um, like mini brands are. They're like tiny, tiny, miniature versions of like food or toys or products. And they're like tiny. This lady on TikTok the other day got the food specific ones. She glued tiny magnets to the back of them and made them into fridge magnets. And they were all like food themed fridge magnets, which was really, really exciting. And I was like, I want, I want to do that. So I went and bought myself one. I've taken like the wrapping off, but basically, essentially, this is an unboxing. <laughs> I have turned into an unboxing channel. <gasps> oh my God. It's a miniature little like credit card. Why is that so cute? Okay. <gasps> Is that like a little, oh my God, okay. Oh, mm, oh, oh. So I have a tiny, oh my God. I have a tiny credit card reader with a credit. Oh, that is so cute. A baby hand sanitizer. I thought these were all food. I must have picked the wrong one. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is what I hoped for. This is, this is like one of the things I saw that I wanted. Cornflakes. Ah, oh my god. Mm, that is going to go on my fridge. That is so cute. Oh, no way. Oh my god. Okay, firstly, I have a fat stack of cash. And secondly, refreshers. Oh my god. This is all the stuff you can collect. Oh no. 
What else is it? <gasps> it's oh, oh my god, tiny scissors. And I forgot to end the vlog, but hopefully, you enjoyed this video this week. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, never mind. Um, and I will see you all next week. See y'all later. Bye.